Well, so hello guys and welcome to this first lesson of uh, the second part of learning HTML and CSS. So guys, actually the second part will be for CSS. Uh, we will learn actually CSS basics. Uh, so in this lesson we are going to uh, see what CSS we are. I am going to give you a reminder if you forget what CSS does to HTML and we will code some CSS using two, two methods and we will see how to create IDs and classes for the uh, tags. So guys, today we are going to use this new coding software, which is Brocket. So uh, it's actually known, it's very known, guys. So it's uh, just like a uh, Sublime text. So we, we uh, today, guys, we are going to create two files, which are HTML file and CSS. So guys, I'm going to save this file in uh, where we uh, save our files. So in uh, the same location and I'm going to create a new folder guys which will be uh, called uh, wait 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 I, I should make the window a little bit bigger so I'm going to create a new folder which is uh, HTML plus CSS and uh, this file will be called index.html plus for the CSS we I'm going to call the file uh, so uh, save as and style sheet dot CSS. So guys, uh, before that, let's talk a little bit about CSS, guys. So uh, actually, CSS uh, came with HTML. Uh, together, they make a fully website. So uh, what does this mean, guys? Actually, uh, we were uh, we uh, in the last lessons we create we websites using only HTML, but uh, when when we will add CSS, it's uh, this, uh, the website will be cooler. So guys, let's see uh, just one website uh, from which we have created. So this is the index.html. This is our first site we uh, just created, guys. So uh, let's see it. So guys, you see this is our website using HTML. So you see the picture is too, so so big, guys, uh, and the texts are not colored. Uh, it's it's actually it's uh, it's so bad to see the website like this. So guys, uh, the, uh, so guys, they created actually CSS, which is a website that completes with HTML to create uh, with the, with the design of the website because uh, just one language for creating the website and its design. It, it, it's gonna be so hard guys so uh, another language will be so cool so uh, they created CSS and they also it's a language but uh, we can we can't actually code CSS without HTML guys so for that we are going to create our normal uh, HTML structure guys So you see, actually, the great thing about uh, bracket is that uh, it closes the uh, text by himself, by itself. So you see, the it's closed, and then, guys, I, uh, I have to put the title tag, which uh, the title I will call it. Uh, let's add CSS to our website, and I'm going to put uh, meta corset. So guys, I won't connect CSS now because I will uh, write all code. Then I will uh, teach you how to connect CSS, guys. So uh, of course equals UTF8, and let me just close that tag. Then let me open my uh, body tags and uh, add uh, an H1. So uh, let me just put the title of my website. So let's add uh, CSS to our website so uh, guys uh, let's save that and now guys we are going to connect our CSS so guys when you connect CSS we have to make sure that uh, the file uh, of uh, the style sheet or uh, of the CSS is uh, uh, .css so we have to make sure that it's .css and you can actually change the name so I will put anything so uh, for not putting style sheet out I will put like uh, hello so uh, that's actually the name guys uh, then uh, actually this is uh, oh no oh no wait 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 a second let's reopen it 
brackets and here it is so guys we see actually the file is uh, empty right now so let's now uh, tell HTML that we've got that CSS so we are going to firstly open a tag and we will write link role so here in the role we are going to tell HTML that uh, this link is pointing to our style sheet so actually style sheet means uh, the style of our website so cheat is actually the style code cheat means code and the style so it's uh, style code uh, type so the type here we tell HTML that its type is HTML and CSS please guys don't you even uh, make something wrong in the link because it won't be connected with CSS then we put our uh, shref uh, tag which will point to the CSS so you see guys here he uh, told me about the, uh, the CSS so I double click and here it is then I close the tag guys so here we connect it to our CSS so guys uh, I will actually create some content of the website to customize it so uh, let me uh, h2 and let me put in the h2 so uh, let's see how uh, to use CSS and I'm going to create some paragraphs guys to uh, have some content on the website and some images also so guys in the paragraph so uh, CSS is uh, a language is a language that completes HTML to have the design of the website I was going to put some suggestions guys because you know uh, we can't uh, I, I will upload this file for you to download it and guys you have uh, you don't have to forget really uh, the, what I'm going to write here now guys so uh, inside this uh, this paragraphs so uh, you uh, can't code CSS without HTML guys so uh, there is two uh, ways or uh, two ways to code CSS so uh, which uh, they are actually uh, so I'm going to put a br tag and then I will uh, add an list to uh, ally uh, so for in the inside the ally which is uh, on uh, or uh, without uh, uh, adding a new file uh, name dot CSS or uh, uh, adding a, a style tag style tag to the tag we want to uh, to mice so guys actually uh, this uh, way is uh, when you uh, have uh, when you want to code on HTML without adding uh, another uh, another file so actually I will put this in bold or oh please close the B tag here yeah and let me close the B tag here so guys you see brackets is a good software very very good really so guys and let's add another piece so uh, the first or let's say adding a new CSS file is better than coding on HTML. You may be wondering why. So, I, I all right. I will answer you here in that URL list. So, guys, firstly, because we can see the uh, tags we customized but guys if we use on HTML so it's gonna look like this just watch that style equal and then here we have to put the CSS like color equal uh, h tag FFF which is, which is white and then you have to close and then you actually if there's so much code you won't know uh, what's the customized thing guys so uh, it's gonna it's gonna cause a, li a, a big problem so uh, secondly uh, you 
can easily change something in the file because you see everything in front of you guys and one more thing is that what the hell is that doing here and one more thing is that uh, actually uh, when uploading the file to your server uh, you can uh, or no, actually this can't help you guys anyway uh, two reasons are uh, uh, it's gonna be good, but guys, I'm actually a professional web developer, and I really advise you to uh, do just like me. Uh, Alright, I'm not just uh, obligating you to do uh, do this like me, but guys, uh, I just want you to succeed your life in web development. So you have to use the always the easy ways. Then, guys, uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, actually, uh, so. Be connect CSS to HTML you have to add this tag so which is in crawl equals style sheet close space type equals text CSS Close and ref uh, your file name. Then you close it and it's done. So actually, guys, I am going to put this between uh, brackets so that uh, you can see them. So I'm going to put a comment here, guys, for you. This tag is for connecting. CSS to HTML. So this guys actually doesn't change. This value doesn't change, guys. This doesn't change. Oh, sorry, I did something wrong. And also, this too doesn't change. This value don't change. Oh, sorry. I actually wrote doesn't here. <laughs> don't end when you just save my file. So, guys, let's just save that and go to our navigator and see what's what we did. Okay doesn't work so I'm going to let this go reload it and here it is guys so now guys we are going to work a little bit on our CSS so we are going firstly to customize the whole body uh, the whole body I mean the website so let's go to our CSS and firstly begin to writing the body so guys Actually, here we write the tag we want to customize, which is body. So here's the body tag. And then we open this, and between them, we add the style which we want to add. So, like, guys, let's say that I want to have a background color. So we have to write background just like this, and then color. Two points, and let's, guys, we see here the uh, software uh, gives me uh, some. Uh, suggestion so let's say that I want this color and then we put the point and uh, this sign here to uh, tell CSS that this comment is over so guys this is uh, how we code CSS so it's too easy but you have to uh, learn the commands guys I will put them in HTML so let's reload our page now and see what's happening and see what's going to happen or if nothing happens why you just see let me just take a look oh yeah because actually the comment here was uh, read by the navigator like he uh, it is a part of the comment so uh, let me just save and no not this one this one what he 
CSS. Yes, it points. Let me uh, see if I could H tag zero zero zero, which point is to black, I think. No, it doesn't work. So actually, they're connected. Oh, guys, guys, yes, 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 yes. Oh guys, sometimes I'm so stupid, you know. Here I wrote HTML CSS, and I should write text CSS, guys. That's why. Yes, no, it should work. Oh no, it's not. Here it is. Yes, guys, it works now. Let me just go back to our color, which we choose. Let me just. Uh, this one I think it was this one and let me just go and reload the page to see what's happening so guys here's our background color you see it's actually so beautiful it's a very beautiful background color so guys in this document we are going to use both ways of calling CSS using the uh, and you are adding with adding another file uh, or coding uh, on HTML guys so let's uh, just uh, customize this h1 and h2 and let's add uh, a picture so let's firstly customize it is this h1 and this h2 uh, this h1 and this h2 guys so the first h1 i'm going to customize it here on uh, the new file and the h2 using this time on html so guys that's actually the same thing i'll go to do just like body and let's uh, add a color so the color uh, will be uh, let me let me see let me see what colors we have guys so uh, let's choose this color and let's add a font family guys you know font family is the text type so it could be aria cursive fantasy inherit so i'm going to use uh, fantasy guys it's a uh, uh, quite good font uh, family and uh, let me just put the text decoration which should be uh, decoration which should be uh, no and let me just uh, would, uh, would you like uh, guys to align so text alignment text align uh, let's add it on center and you will see uh, that the, uh, the the h1 will be centered guys so here it is you see it's uh, really it's so beautiful guys yes so guys let's uh, just uh, get it back to its place without a uh, center alignment and let's add a logo to our website so guys so let me uh, just let me just custom customize the H2 uh, before adding the logo. So let me go back and here in the H2 guys, uh, you add a space, then you tap style equals, open these and guys here you tip your style. So let's uh, do uh, actually let's go and copy this code for uh, for the H2 guys. No. Or control C, control V, where all the will hold the problem, guys. Here it is. So, guys, I told you guys that this is actually really so bad coding CSS with HTML. Uh, I actually hate it so much, guys. So let me go to the navigator, re reload it, and you see it's uh, the same thing. So, guys, let's now customize this uh, the size of the text. So uh, let me just uh, text. font size it's actually written like this and the font size is written with pixels guys so let's uh, choose uh, 25 pixel for h1 and tw uh, 15 pixels for uh, 50 pixels for h2 so let's go here and font size equals 50 pixels and no sorry Let's just say that. 
Oh yes, I should close that. And I was wondering why it all became orange. So here it is, you see the size is changed as uh, the H1 is uh, by the same size. So 25 is uh, a little bit big from the H2, so let's uh, 20 pixels, which is quite good, guys. So uh, maybe you want to add a logo from the website. So let me look for a logo on my computer, guys. Let's see what I have. So let's say this image and uh, uh, let's just resize it using uh, paint because it's uh, uh, more simple than resizing it using uh, CSS. So guys, let's uh, 50, uh, no, no, not 50, 100 per 100. 100 pixels to 100 pixels. It's uh, the best size for uh, uh, for uh, logo. Let me logo and close. Go back to my code and add an image after the body. So image user C equals logo uh, GPG and alt. Uh, this uh, this is the logo then I'm going to add an ID you will see what I'm going to do with the ID which will be logo then I'm going to close that go to my CSS and guys when you customize an ID you have to put the H tag sign and then you tap uh, the tag you are customizing then so ID uh, 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 actually uh, text uh, a line uh, should be uh, left and let me just close the tag and go uh, same so you see guys it's left and let me uh, just uh, or let's just put in central what do you think so let's uh, let's try justify guys let's see what's going to happen it's the same thing Hold on, guys. Second. Online counter. Let's start. Save it. Alright, so guys, it's the same thing. I, I, it's the same thing. I actually tried to add it uh, after these, but I have to look. Actually, how to do it? I, I actually forget it, guys. But I, I just forget the command name. That. Uh, uh, it's not a big problem, but I will remember the comment name later. So anyway, guys, here we started customizing these. So I uh, guess actually let's uh, just uh, put them, uh, all of them, all of them in the center. So uh, guys, let's uh, H1 and H2 and H tag ID. I think this way will work, guys. I actually didn't try it, but I will try it with you. So uh, text line is center and let me just try it uh, uh let's see if it's going to work no it's not going to work because css doesn't actually uh uh doesn't uh work with many comments so h2 and the ad id should be uh text align should be center save also the H1. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Don't you even do this. You don't have to forget the sign, guys. Text align is center. And save. Go back. Oh, 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 oh. Here we have to put align content, guys. No, where is the ID text align? Align content. I think, uh... What? Want to do it by the hard way? Let's do it by the hard way, guys. Let me give this ID away and let me just put image. Oh, yes, it doesn't work because I put it uh, align content uh, two times. items 
save. Oh, guys, it's so hard. The place here is so hard. ID equals guys. Uh, I will call it one more time logo and I will save. Go here and let me just try. Okay. It should work, guys. I actually don't know what's the problem, but it have to work, guys. Here it is. You know what guys, I've got another way to do it. Sometimes you have to use the hard way. Let's go back to HTML and just our Y and image. Style equals text align is center plus save save and let me uh, just go back here you know this 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 no <sighs> anyway anyway let's just uh, don't complicate the thing so let's just say let's uh, just uh, deal with uh, this because I didn't want to do images uh, now so Anyway, uh, let's now continue customizing our P's. So guys, here as you see, I created so many P's and uh, one OLS and one ULS. So guys, you may be wondering, you may say that I want to customize only this uh, paragraph and I, would, I don't want to customize it uh, on uh, HTML. So what do you have to do? So guys, uh, what you have to do is that you have to uh, e there's two ways actually create a class or create an ID so class and uh, so P class uh, equals to let's say uh, I don't know uh, P1 let's just save and then you go to HTML uh, to the CSS and when you're customizing a class in the CSS you should you should add a point before the class name so our class name was P1 so let me just add point P1 and add uh, open these brackets and then guys uh, let's uh, start customizing. So let's start by uh, by, uh, by the color firstly. So color. Let's choose a. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's choose a beautiful color. Let's work on having a, a little bit uh, a real website. So let's work on the font family now. So uh, let me just try monospace and let let me uh, so uh, text decoration. Uh, I will put it known. And uh, let me uh, set the font size uh, to uh, 14 or uh, yes, 14 pixels would be good. And uh, yeah, that's also let's go here, reload. Here it is, guys. You see, it's actually uh, the color is so beautiful. So uh, this one, I am going to uh, put some uh, words in uh, some no, let's. Uh, put it uh, but the, the same uh, thing but the same uh, style as this one so uh, this time I'm going to customize this P on HTML guys so let me go to the HTML and P style equals let's start color or no let's just copy the code Control C, Control V, guys. Actually, if you're using Mac, you can use CMD, C, CMD, V to copy and paste. Well, when the CSS is so long, it's so hard to use it. Here, reload, and here it is. So, what do you think, guys, about uh, setting this color to red? Right, is better because you have to uh, remember it, guys. You don't have to forget it. Save. 
Actually, guys, you can use uh, you can write colors by letters if they're if they are uh, basic colors like uh, black, red, blue, and uh, cyan and uh, yellow, green. So these are the basic colors. Actually, uh, you can actually see uh, uh, HTML colors on the internet. And uh, actually, Wikipedia have has uh, they have uh, these colors. So guys, uh, I will show you how to use these colors. It's just so you see guys we've got a very 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 big table here which contains the color code so guys let's uh, keep working in here so uh, let's go back and customize uh, this P so let's P I will add a class for it or let's add an ID we can even add an ID guys so uh, this piece ID will, will be actually uh, P3 and let me save go back here and guys when you are customizing IDs on CSS we should add an H tag so P3 and like the other uh, like the others but I'm going to switch the uh, size to 60 pixels the font family will say the same and the color I'm going to uh, change it to uh, let me see Color which should uh, take your attention, guys. Yes, this color. Well, good. Here it is. See, it's customized. It's so this is an ID and this is a class. So, guys, let me just I will put it in the HTML. I will add it to the color. So, actually, uh, here this paragraph is an ID save and this this paragraph is a class so guys let's add some more paragraphs to remind you with some things with uh, of CSS so guys uh, let's add another P so when uh, customizing an ID on CSS you should write the H tag sign before your ID's name you see but but if customizing a class you should put a point before the class name. A reminder a P1 is a class for the first paragraph and uh p3 is an id for the uh, third paragraph well guys i i just wanted to talk about something now guys which is uh, a little bit important so guys actually uh, you may be wondering if uh, we you have to be so good in english when uh, calling html and css well guys, I think yes, I think you should uh, be good in English. Why guys? Because actually it's just like English. You have paragraph and colors there in English. So uh, I think you may want to learn uh, English a little bit. You may want to learn a little English guys. Just to uh, make sure that, you're, uh, the, that you understand uh, the code. So anyway, uh, let's go back now to uh, where we have been. And let's uh, customize the... Uh, OL list and UL list. So let me just uh, give them. Uh, let me just give them uh, the uh, uh, a class, which will be CSS methods, and the, I will give this class. Because you can see the same thing as one. Okay, you know uh, why choose the second 
method and let's just save that oh guys the class is so long i can't really uh you do uh, i guys i advise you to uh don't use uh long classes so let's just put y so let's go here and tap uh point css methods guys you have to make sure that you write the code fully true or uh, it won't work and let's uh css methods so guys let's 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 what color let's always start by the color guys chocolate color would be so beautiful and let me just font family let's uh, try uh, fantasy monospace monospace let's try inherit uh, I want to dex decoration font uh, size will be 14 guys for a uh, white class just make sure that yes why and uh, let's uh, do the same thing color chocolate uh, font family inherit and uh, font size size with 14 pixels save go to the navigator reload here it is there is two ways so guys you see you may be wondering why uh, in the uh, ol tag only uh, wait a sec wait wait a second It's not customized, guys. Let me save now. It's going to work. Yes, here it is, guys. You see, that's the OL and that's the L. Uh, that's the UL, and this is a P, guys. We let's 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 customize this P. Why? Why not? Here it is. Here, here it is. So this P, let's give him an ID. Uh, it will be P4. Save and let's go here and start customizing our P4. P4. Well, uh, well, let me just paste and just like the other P's. Let's also customize this P with an ID. ID equals uh, P5. guys we will have a beautiful website uh, and it's closed yes good and for this P I will uh, give it a glass which will be a reminder or which will be uh, pay attention and before that class uh i will add an h1 which i will make it so big guys in in red color uh so this h1 will uh actually uh contain uh, uh an id and another h2 uh so you can actually add ids in classes uh on h1 and on the titles so uh, this h1 will be attention and another h1 which will be a class make sure to do these things when coding CSS and so this H1 class will be uh, uh, attention and this and make sure guys that the class's name don't uh, don't be so uh, the same names because uh, yeah, they will make some problems so uh, class uh, ID sorry ID uh, will be no no yes good. ID is uh, let me think about an ID <sighs> the ID what's the uh, what let's say sentence yes so uh, H tag attention let's start by this get the H one attention 
which is uh, natron so guys i will just put the same thing here but uh the font size i will fit 25 pixels because it's so important and the color is uh red hold on guys uh this is a class the attention is a class or an id the attention is a class so i should i should put a, a point here and the id is a sentence that will put the same code and then i've got this uh p which class is pay attention let me just uh pay <laughs> Pink. <laughs> yes. Pay. So and the pay class then I've got the pay and I'll uh, put this code for the pay. Saved and go to the navigator. Yes. Yes guys. That's a website. That's actually a beautiful website, even if it's not complete, guys. But uh, it's it's a beautiful website. Actually, you see colors. Uh, they're uh, they're married together, guys. There there is beautiful colors. So uh, you see, guys. There there. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. I'm going to stop the video for a second, and then I'm going back. Well, guys, sorry for uh, the stuff I did because I had some uh, uh, trouble. Actually, so guys, anyway, uh, as I said, so that's a beautiful website. Colors are married, and they're so beautiful, guys. So let's add. Uh, why not adding a picture and customizing it? So uh, let's. See. No margins are not for today. What else? Links. Let's customize a link and a picture. Let's here add. A link which will take you guys to my channel or the playlist of web de uh, or the web development playlist so let's go to YouTube oh yeah guys it's good after coding yes it's very very good after coding do that with fingers you know what guys you should really try uh coding for uh days and days like uh i i, I actually uh i was creating a website which will contain quizzes for uh just like choosing from famous guys and this actually i coded uh, this site in only uh two days for uh, so two days 24 hours uh and i'm coding uh i used actually a bootstrap template and i passed two days coding the website so now it's ready i am going to launch it uh next week guys so uh for the uh we'll take it to my channel so uh here add it channel and uh let's customize this link so uh actually uh i'm going to add an id for the link uh sorry guys i have to go uh, for a little while and I'm going sorry guys somebody had to uh, get in my room i recorded for the video i actually guys always say to my family uh, never uh, get in my room man uh i record videos but uh oh my brothers really don't they are actually i feel like sometimes i feel so sorry about them but sometimes they make me nervous guys i hate somebody who uh comes to me when i'm working guys it's actually so i mean th that feeling when it's when you're working and the whole thing you did comes uh, so bad and i don't i don't know guys it will actually take uh, so much time doing that and then uh like actually i one time my brothers i was working on a website i actually was working on a social network just uh, last summer i was working on a social network and uh, my brothers uh, suddenly just put it everything in water many scripts many files i just took a look it's clean i looked i tried the whole ways of recovery but i didn't I uh, recovered the whole files guys so actually I feel so sad about my, about my social network anyway guys let's uh, don't talk uh, much about me so this class is uh, channel uh, this ID will be channel and then I'm going here and uh, to uh, uh, customize channel and for the link 
I should always put a deck a desk, uh, deck decoration, which should be uh, no uh, font family. I should put it. Uh, let's uh, choose uh, fantasy uh, font size. Should be uh, actually uh, it should be uh, thirty pixels. Yeah, and let's see what we uh, got now. Loaded here it is. Here it is. It's so beautiful. So beautiful, guys. So. Where did that color come from? Color I will choose uh, this and just let's reload. Here it is, guys. It's so beautiful, and I am going to uh, put uh, my channel's logo on it. Uh, no, it's not my channel. I actually put it uh, the playlist uh, <laughs> link, not my channel. Alright, so let me just uh, uh, replace the link. Save. And let me, guys, uh, just add a, a, an image here before the picture, which uh, SRC, which will come. Actually, we can add images from links, guys. Did you uh, knew that? So, actually, you have to go here, tap, and uh, open uh, the image on a new tab. And guys, then you see this tab contains only the image. So you copy the link, go to your code, and uh, in the SRC you put that. And then Alt. I will put like a profile picture. And let me close the tag. Save. Save. And here it is, guys. This is my picture. Let's guys also add a link to that picture, which will take me to my channel. So I'm at href, uh, which will uh, take me to. Uh, also, the picture should uh, take me to uh, the channel. So let me just put the link. Close. Uh, my channel, you know, I don't need the link, actually the image is the link, and close the A tag, save, go to the navigate, reload it, here it is the image taking, oh, okay, guys, so, uh, for not losing visitors, I'm going to uh, open the link in a new tab, guys, where is it, target, equals, blank, Also here, target equals so target. I will put it before ID blank and reload that. And here it is, guys. Take me to the new tab. Both of them points to the to my channel. So you just got the picture is visible. And guys, don't you even forget something, which is very 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 important guys new website which are the copyright the copyright guys is something so important in websites so here's here's how to do it uh let's uh, suppose that you need the copyright uh, logo so you may go to any website and here uh, i will take youtube so you take uh, you just copy the copyright logo you copy it go to your uh, html page so and uh, actually, uh, go to your HTML page, add a P, you paste the copyright logo, you tap copyright 2016, uh, our rights are deserved, if, if your site is English, and you uh, tap your website name, so here I've got, uh, let's add uh, CSS our website and then guys you, you you may want to add a link for your website name so the link will be index.html no 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 the a should be closer there not here 
and close the A tag. So then, guys, you have to go to the CSS. And I'm going to put an ID. No, the P. An ID for the P. Uh, all right, guys. Save it. And so it's an ID. All right. No. Like this. Let me just open these and uh, for so uh, text align should be right. Let me see if it works just like this because it should be in the bottom of the page. Yes, here it is. It works, guys. So let's just customize it. Uh, you should uh, really uh, it should look all in the same color and the same uh, same of everything guys so let's just do this and go back here and reload it here it is guys on the bottom of the page is so important wait a second Let me add an ID for the link also guys. Space ID equals <sighs> website. H tag website and keep, keep continuing. H tag website. Let's let me see if I just used the right name. No. Guys, I repeat it, if you use the wrong class or ID name, it's so wrong, guys. It's all wrong. So, website. Let me open it. So, text decoration is no. No. Let me just... Uh, channel. Save it, go to the navigator, reload it, and here it is, guys. It's all but the same color, but only this is a link. So, guys, this is actually our website using CSS. You will find the uh, link to download Breakits, which is this software, this cool software in the description, guys. You will also find uh, the link to download these uh, files in the description. Uh, so, I will actually uh, remove my picture, or let's just like let it just like this guys you're free to do whatever you want with this website but guys please don't even uh, uh, launch this website don't you even make it public guys please no no guys you know what I, I, I really can't do this so I'm going to uh, I'm going to remove just the picture guys I'm going to uh, put another picture instead of it so let me just uh, let me just go here and tap uh, on Google uh, uh, pictures, 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 pictures. Go and update later. Thank you. Eight, 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 fifty-six. What the hell? No, guys, please. Oh, that's a beautiful Lamborghini, guys. You know what? It's a Lamborghini Huracan Spider. Well, it's a beautiful car, guys. Everyone dreams. Everyone wants to have a Lamborghini. But unfortunately, it's so expensive, guys. And even in Tunisia, we can't really have a Lamborghini. Don't call it Lambo. Top GPG. Where, where is it? Uh, a C. Lambo GPG and save it. Go here and let me reload the page. It's quite big. Edit <coughs> and let's 100 to 100 like I did uh, to the last picture. 
let's see uh, the results yes guys yes that's a beautiful result guys it's it's so beautiful it's guys so beautiful so uh, I think guys like this website looks like a professional website uh, the only thing it's missing is the navigation bar guys uh, so actually the next uh, lesson we will learn uh, we will add a few things to CSS and we will learn how to add a navigation bar guys also we will learn how to improve our website quality and uh, use CSS very well guys so as I said you will find the link to download these files in the description guys and I think uh, that you uh, like this lesson also guys it will be uploaded right now and the next lesson will be uploaded right after these guys uh, right after this lesson guys so this lesson is uh, will be the longest lesson of uh, the tutorial uh, of this course actually and it will uh, take 45 to 50 minutes I'm not really sure so guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video leave a comment if you don't understand anything and see you on the next